Dr. Jengarul is such a, a, an incredible inspirational figure and, and I thought it was, it was so interesting to mention Earthrise as well from Apollo 8 because that wasn't on the itinerary. That wasn't intended when they went into space. Indeed, the commander of that mission said, don't take a picture of the planet Earth. While Jim Lovell, he was there going, no, look what we can see out of that window. And so they didn't take it deliberately. It wasn't on the itinerary. They took it because they said, we've seen it and we have to capture that moment of understanding, the beginning of understanding our fragility. And uh, I know J Jane d d on the Infinite Monkey Cage, and she did an incredible thing of uh, teaching the rest of the panel on that particular show how to speak chimpanzee more authentically which was the most wonderful thing. And again, it's that mixture of delight, but at the same time, never letting go of the urgency. And no one asked me to write this, unlike Rick's piece. But on the way here, I was thinking of how inspirational Jane has been to me in terms of thinking as well in her beautiful book, Through a Window, to remind us that we are only looking out of the one of the windows at the world that there are other windows to look out of, there are other perceptions of the world. So this is uh, also for Jane. I was thinking of Dr. Zeus as well, because I was thinking all of that vim and that energy that we see so often. I'm off to Starmus in my Carl Sagan corduroy to tattoo my mind with new questions and suggestions of how to be human, how to be humane, to retrain my brain, and most importantly, to listen to Jane who changed us. Untrained, unhampered by presumptions, she observed new ways to see the branches of the tree of life, to dismiss our superiority, to show that we have no privileged objectivity. We are not the pinnacle, but just a part. We must take responsibility, for life is no frivolity, there is no perpetuity, and in all this fragility, if I see further, it is because I have stood on the shoulders of chimpanzees and started to see through windows that used to be closed to me. Uh, now, Jane, thank you so much for everything. Just wonderful.